So before I replace my alternator diode trio, I decided I would record my voltages so I would know if I actually made any difference. So car off, key not in, 12.65. I think it's pretty good. Glow plugs. Goes back up. Pretty good. So right now, I would expect this to be higher than my <laughs> regular battery, but it's not. It's actually lower. So definitely not charging right now. Just crawling up. Maybe it is charging. I don't know. I think it needs to be like 14 volts. Let's give it some gas. Oh. Uh oh. I think I shook a shook a connection off. Going up real slow. Let's give it some gas. So it doesn't overvolt it. Gonna go back down slowly. All right. Well, that's the current status. Hopefully, it'll make it better. Take out the alternator. Put in a new trio. Probably show a couple steps along the way. All right. So here we go again. This time, I think I'm just gonna leave this bracket on. I think I don't think I need to take it off. And it's a pain to get this perfectly lined up. Uh, when you're putting it back on. So I'm going to try and leave this on. Just undo these. My drill again. I'll tell you what, this drill does a heck of a job. Lithium ion battery, thing's tiny. I drilled out the, um, the, um, tailgate window with it yesterday. I mean, used, I've been using the crap out of this. I haven't, I haven't charged that thing in months. Anyways. Uh, here's the diode trio Corvair Wild sent me. Here's the one I got at the store. So you can see the the difference. Costa Rica. So you know it's good. Cheap gloves. Alright. Essentially a diode only allows current to flow in one direction. So you can see right now the uh, positive connected here. I've got big old fat nothing. You can see directly connected there. So Nothing flows this way. Now, if I switch these, so now that I've switched these, you can see that current is allowed to flow.
However, since this diode trio I think is busted, because this side you get nothing. See nothing on that one. The other two seem fine. So I'll show you on a brand new one. This one, see all three, two, work. So this diode trio, definitely bad. The side, not letting anything through. Makes sense that I got that crack there. So, this one's garbage. One's going in. Made in Costa Rica. And same thing essentially with this. Um, the only other thing I'm starting to question now that I'm in here is this. This is the resistor. Goes across there. And then the uh, trio Trio actually goes underneath there, connects the uh, bridge rectifier. That camera just will not focus tonight. Sorry. So, anyways, replace that. It's definitely got a problem. But I'm wondering if this this is also a problem. A little, it's a little corroded. But at least we got the new trio. Get that, that plugged in. And if keeping track of which of these are insulated, I believe these two are the insulated, and this one is not. So get this put back together. There we go. Now, just gonna slide this back into place. That straw gloves sticking. That straw goes down, down and there. Alright, I think I've got these things as shiny as I can get them. Got a couple little... Little divots. Come on. There we go. Little divot there. Anyways, pretty shiny. I can't get this black up. It's it's on there. I don't know. Sanded the crap out of it. But I think it'll be good. All right, moment of truth. There you go. Oh, I got an angry baby. Okay, back installed, tightened up. Real tight this time. Like my ghetto light there. Probably can't even see it. Got my voltmeter plugged back in. Time to crank her up. So we're at 12.58. Glow plugs. Plugs keep popping on. Maybe. 
Alright, it's looking pretty good. It's working its way up there. I haven't had to rev it or anything. This is good. I think we fixed it. Corvair Wild was right. Let's see if it stops. like on my car meter. Yeah, pretty good. It's good. It's charging. Stop going up. Alright, now let's rev it up. Make sure it doesn't go up. They went down a tiny bit. Alright, I think it's fixed. 